We're continuing to talk guns. That's not bad, people. So part one, I told you why I do a lot of these moves as combo moves where we're getting in the core and the balance. Let's talk a little bit more about the benefits here. When I started running way back in 2001, strength training for runners was something you rarely heard anyone talk about. I did an interview with Ryan Hall where he very specifically said, no, I don't do that. If I want to be a better runner, I run. He has since uh, reneged on that a little bit with his current lifting routine, but that was very much kind of the whole thought process at the time. Now we know that by lifting, we are actually improving our overall endurance. We're also ensuring that we don't become that skinny fat runner. So it can definitely happen that as we're adding on miles and miles and miles and maybe not totally keeping up with calories, the body starts using some of your muscle for energy. While that's definitely going to just be part of it if you're doing ultras, we don't want to see that happening to you in the half marathon or even in the full marathon. Feeding down that question of like, are we going to put on too much muscle? No. And here's why. To really put on muscle, you need a calorie surplus for your body to build. And most runners are going to be in a deficit between doing the exercises for running and running itself. So don't be too concerned about that. What you're really focused on here is the fact that you're gonna be building power, you're gonna be building strength. While it's fantastic to have access to a gym to consistently change up your movements, all you really need at home are a pair of dumbbells to get in any of the moves that I'm going to show you. First up was the side lunge to a side raise. Next, we're gonna challenge your core and your brain by doing a bicep curl and a shoulder press at the same time. That's right, I know you can do it. <laughs> Don't forget to switch legs next time around. Now we're moving into a shoulder series. First, you'll do alternating front raises. Then you'll do alternating side raises. And finally, you're going to do a shoulder pull up with both weights in front of you. Now it's time for another combo movement. Lowering the weights down along your shins, You'll then do a row, working your upper back muscles, and then return to standing, which is a deadlift. So again, we're saving time and working multiple muscles at once. Finally, we're gonna continue to challenge that core by going into a single leg tricep press. Not always as easy as it looks, and remember to change legs next time around. Thanks for sticking around all the way to the end. We've got a ton of things here. Check out the links below and of course hit subscribe so you never miss another video.